and welcome to your February 2018 reading. So you're going to be thinking a lot in February about community, about friendships, about where you belong, about really trying to get that right, really trying to get that to make sense for you. And you're also going to be releasing at the same time um, anything to do with uh, worrying about children or about uh, things that you've let go in the past to do with love, to do with having fun, um, regret over love, regret over um, did I let the right thing go to sort of grab hold of the wrong thing and you're really going to be wanting to make community work for you and it's not as a replacement for love but it's more I need to make sense of the world now, I need to make sense of my life much more now. So a lot of your ambitions are going to be going towards finding out what your place is within the wider world, within the wider community, making group activities work, becoming a part of those group activities, working as a collective. And with regard to a lot of people focusing on love at this time of year, for you, you're going to be wanting to focus much more on universal love, collective love, love within the community and really wanting to find your place and find your heart there and in a sense it's where you're most likely to find some kind of a, an emotional connection if that's what you're looking for at the moment. So we're going to have a look and we're just going to ask what will help Aries in finding that place in the community, in maybe finding love and in just really becoming the best you that you can be in February 2018 and using all the energies astrologically to the best of your advantage in terms of your career life purpose and um, any kind of intimate um, subjects. So in you know, first week, second week, third and fourth and then also going to look at um, an angel card so using the psychic tarot and the um, archangel oracle from Dorian Virtue so first week second third and fourth okay so for the first week you've got light you've got life review and so what this is saying is that if things have been a little bit slow in January, if you feel as if you've been sort of grinding into gear slowly and things haven't been moving quite in the way that you want them to and this has been one of the things that's been causing this regret or this second guessing yourself or backtracking or back thinking, backward thinking, wondering, um, you are going to be having something of a life review in the first week of February. So there's going to be something that triggers you into thinking even more strongly about the decisions that you've made over the last couple of years or so and whether they were the right decisions, whether they've actually put you in the spot that you want to be in and you know there's all this light coming in so there's this sense of you reaching for guidance seeking for gu seeking guidance of a higher nature and really reaching up and wanting to express the highest light within you and asking yourself whether the choices you've made are allowing you to do that and so you're going to be taking an inventory of everything that's going on everything you have to offer everything that you've offered in the past everyone who's been around you um, in making those offerings and everyone you think you might like to have around you in the future so that focus on community continues I mean build starts right in the very first week with you laying down foundations for the whole of the month and potentially the whole of the year with this life review with saying I'm in February now I'm already in February and I'm questioning all the things that I thought were right on the 31st of December and I'm just wanting to make sure wanting to make absolutely sure that the details of those choices are all really going to take me as far as I want to go as far as I see myself going there's also a sense of you know these lights and they look like they're almost like the spotlight and there's a sense in which you're wondering whether you want to be in the spotlight more and whether 
that's a part of your destiny and whether you are on your way to doing something that gives you a little bit more of a space to express yourself creatively as an individual and you're also wondering how that fits in with your um, aims within the community or within a group setting so lots of questions there that you're going to be asking yourself in the first week in the second week you're coming to remembering who you are that is a really powerful card and this card says conflict and defeat but it's not um i don't like seeing these as a predictive card because what they are is actually um it's it's kind of a warning it's kind of a preparation because and this is why i like to do an oracle card along with the tarot because it just helps to illustrate it more and to give you a bit more of a positive interpretation of what's happening here so all that's happening here is that something is happening that wakes you up to to force you um to be who you really are to honor the truth that you're already going to be start thinking about in the first week so it's not anything new it's not anything out of the blue it's not some sudden catastrophe it's nothing like that it's something that you're already expecting you've already got your feelers out psychically if you like thinking okay mm -mm. I can already sense what's on the wind regarding a particular decision and I know that everything that's happening now is for my highest good because it's leading me to where, where I really, 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 really want to be. Okay, so in the third week, um, brilliant idea. Again, all the angel cards are looking really positive and telling you to go ahead and to trust yourself. Something's going to come out of the blue. It's going to be like a brainwave, something that allows you to, to honour the community that you belong to and to honour yourself as well. Don't feel trapped. There is a possibility that you'll feel trapped in commitments that you've already made. Um, again, this is all... It's not going to apply to all Aries. It's a very general reading. If you want me to have a personal look at your personal individual um, energies and potentialities then book a reading but these are just the general themes and ideas and possibilities so in the third week it is possible that you're going to be raring to go with this new idea this thing that you've decided you're going to go for and um, there may be something in your environment that stops you or that not blocks you but that just has you thinking okay maybe that's what I want to do but I can't do it as quickly as I'd like to because now I'm committed to this so just be aware of that and I feel like this last week is going to be a great one so let's see what's under here <gasps> yeah that's perfect okay so you get to have a little bit of a rest you get to reflect properly you get to recharge rejuvenate yourself you get to st step back a little bit spend some time in nature gather your inner forces um notice all of the guidance it says here you know clear audience you're going to be hearing messages from spirit you're going to be hearing coincidences you know coincidental messages messages on the radio hearing coming across videos online and hearing messages that way the ringing in the ears all those little promptings that you are being guided by spirit and that you are moving into the right path that you are beginning to step into the right direction so that's all great it says notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind and from other people so you're going to really take time to reflect to meditate on how you can really 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 listen to yourself and trust yourself and start stepping into your greatness without reservation so releasing anywhere that you have not been loving towards yourself releasing anywhere that you've not been allowing yourself to have the joy and the happiness and the playfulness and fun that you really want releasing within yourself where you've not been allowing yourself to have the love that you really want anything at all of that nature that's what you're going to be experiencing around the time of the eclipse because it's all that fifth house energy all that stuff that you've been denying yourself because of some idea that you've had about how it's right to be in the community or within a group setting i'm going to pull one more card for you clear cognizance basically the card that says trust your inner knowing trust what you know but i'm going to say trust what you know based on how you feel because when it comes down to it it doesn't matter how many places you seek guidance or how many people you ask or how many oracles you consult or any of that stuff. The answer is always there inside you and it's not 
you know sometimes people get hung up on thinking yeah but it's okay for you to say that because you're really intuitive we're all very intuitive and if you don't believe that you're intuitive you you can certainly believe that you have desires that you have a heart that you know what lights you up you know what makes you happy you know what you find the most fun to do and that is the biggest message sometimes that you can ever receive from the divine from from your higher self from the consciousness that you've been born into at this time at this particular individuation don't dismiss those feelings as being frivolous you you know how dare we dismiss joy as being frivolous embrace it be honest with yourself about what makes you happy what lights you up and what brings you joy and decide to honor it and then if you have a way, take that into the community because you are still very determined to make that community thing work at the moment. And that's lovely, that's really great, but it's really about finding where you truly belong in that. So in other words, it's a bit like being honest with yourself, admitting to yourself that you're not um, you're not the gopher, you're not the runner, you're not the personal assistant, you're actually the person who wants to be you know, standing centre stage and offering your message, your truth, speaking, you know, singing, dancing, whatever. Okay, that's it, Aries. Have a fantastic February. I think it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be full of revelations and it's going to lead you closer and closer to the goals and the dreams that you set out for yourself at the beginning of the year, but there will be surprises and twists and turns and you're being asked to bend and flow with those slight adjustments okay it's not a huge changes these are just mind minor adjustments okay within what you already know and feel deep within your heart okay take care and i will speak to you again soon bye